Over the last few months, we've seen a handful of him picture style games make it from PC over the console. And there's a new one called Enigmatus, the Ghosts of Maple Creek. But is this one a mystery that's worth solving, or does this game just end up haunting you? Just like with Nightmares of the Deep and Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink, Enigmatus Ghost of Maple Creek is a hidden picture puzzle game that is pretty much a point and click style of adventure. You're going to be exploring the small town, trying to solve a mystery, putting evidence together, and trying to find lots of different objects in lots of different pictures. The hidden object style of puzzles are pretty standard for these kind of games. You'll get a list of objects at the bottom of the screen and of course a large picture with tons of stuff in it. You'll be coming back to the same pictures continually each time finding different objects and getting different items for the inventory style of puzzles you'll be solving along the small little town that you get to explore. You'll find all kinds of objects from screwdrivers to pieces that you have to put back together into different places to unlock doors and all kinds of stuff that you'll need to solve of not only being able to advance the story, but also figure out exactly what's going on. Without spoiling too much about the story, it revolves around this small town that you'll get to explore and you're trying to solve what exactly is going on as far as the ghosts are concerned, the murders that have taken place, there's religion and sacrifice involved as well. There is a handful of other style of puzzles that you'll need to figure out as well, usually with rotating different objects, sliding puzzles where you have to move the squares around in order to make the picture easily my least favorite style of puzzle and I struggled a little bit trying to get through it and a few other types. There's nothing overly challenging and I was still able to kind of figure everything out with a little bit of trial and error. If something ends up being too hard though, you can use the skip option to go past it. Like the other games in this genre, the cutscenes are okay. You basically have kind of stagnant pictures and a little bit of mouth movement for the characters. And the dialogue is, well, kind of just okay at best to kind of get the story going. There's nothing too groundbreaking or amazing as far as the storytelling is concerned, but it does get the job done. Also, like the other games like this, they aren't necessarily extremely long adventures. It'll probably take you about three to four hours, depending upon how long it takes you to figure out each of the puzzles and how many hints you use if you skip things or use a guide along the way. However, with Enigmatis, the technical side of things is where I have my biggest issues with the game. There is a major game-breaking glitch that I ran into not once, but twice. When solving some of the other style of puzzles, my controls became locked. I was unable to actually interact with any object. The only thing I was able to do was back out, go all the way back to the very beginning spot of the game. I could open up my inventory, but I couldn't select any objects, I couldn't mess with my evidence, I couldn't do anything else, and the game was stuck like this. If I quit it out and came back in, it was still like this and I had to restart the game from the beginning again. After playing all the way through to the very end, it did it again at a different puzzle, causing me to have to restart for a third time. Just making the overall experience really a chore to finish where it would have overall been a pretty fun little game. Ink McManus is available on the PlayStation 4 for $9.99. It does feature a platinum trophy, and the trophies overall are extremely easy. So for trophy hunters, this is one of those games that you may want to end up checking out. And in fact, the trophies are even easier than some of the previous hidden picture games like Nightmares from the Deep and Clockwork Tales. There's nothing groundbreaking about the title by any means, but if you're a fan of the hidden picture style of games, you're going to enjoy this one as long as you don't get that game-breaking bug. Hopefully they patch it, but there's always that shaky ground of if a developer will go back and actually patch these games once they've been uploaded to the PlayStation Network, but hopefully they do. In the end, as it sits right now, I'm gonna be giving Enigmatis a four out of 10. A lot of that has to do with the game-breaking bug. If that is patched out, I would give the game a six, but as it sits, I'm giving it a four out of 10. But anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching and of course I hope you enjoyed.